Welcome back to Nord Tesla. Now that the mobile connector doesn't come with every car, which one should you buy? The mobile connector or the Tesla wall connector? Stay tuned. So a little while ago, ChargerGate blew up the Tesla community. It's when Elon tweeted that new cars would no longer come equipped with a mobile connector, as it has since the dawn of time. It's almost like the iPhone where they took away the charging brick. The mobile connector is of course one of the best ways to charge your Tesla. It even used to come with a 1450 adapter included. This is the adapter which allows you to plug into a stove plug or an RV outlet, which in my opinion is definitely the best option. Now you can still buy that adapter, it's around 40 to $50. And then uh, the kit itself comes with your uh, cable, as well as an adapter for to plug into a standard wall outlet, which is convenient at times. So in a previous video, I talked about the best way to charge at home, specifically for the real wheel drive version or SR Plus as it was with new. You can find that video right up here. Your options at the time were the mobile connector or the Tesla wall connector, which at the time was well over $600. Given that the mobile connector was included with the car and that the real wheel drive cannot take advantage of the wall connector speeds since its onboard charger maxes out at 32 amps, for most, it was an easy decision to stick with the mobile connector. So now, no more. You no longer get the mobile connector included with the car. The good news is though, they did lower the price of both and made it easy to order with the car while you're ordering it. So let's look at the cost as well as pros and cons for each. But before I get into it though, please take a second and subscribe. All right, let's look at the cost and how to order them. So if you look here in the uh, order page, you scroll down and you'll come to charging options. Now you can see here that the wall connector is $400 while the mobile connector is 200. That's in the US. In Canada, it's gonna be $510 and $255 respectively. So let's look at the pros and cons of each. All right, with the wall connector, its biggest advantage is higher charging speeds. But keep in mind, like I said earlier, if you have the real wheel drive or SR Plus, it will only charge at 32 amps. If you have a different model, then you'll obviously take advantage of the higher speed. But to put it in perspective, if you're charging overnight and doing a big charge, like say anywhere from 30 to 90%, then you'll probably save about an hour worth of charging. Is that life changing? Well, if you have all overnight to charge, like over eight to 10 hours, what's an extra hour, right? So some like that added uh, speed, but it's not really needed most times. The other advantage of the wall connector is it's a hard wire installation. It has a thicker gauge cable and is designed for indoor or outdoor use, and which can handle more extreme temperatures like extreme cold where I am, or extreme heat if you're in California or some desert places. Some say the mobile connector isn't meant for daily charging, but I've used mine now for two years with no issues. Mind you, I have mine, the actual kit is in the garage, and then I run the cable underneath the door to the car. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you have a rubber sealer at the bottom of your door so you don't damage the cable. Now, I can see that if you're uh, using the mobile connector every day and unplugging it every day, leaving it on the rain or cold or in the snow, then I can see that it can wear out at, over time. And the other benefit of the wall connector was that back when you actually had the mobile connector included, you can leave that in your car. So for me, if I know I'm going to go somewhere else uh, that I need any charge, I have to unplug it from the wall, the garage, take it out, put it in the car. So if you have the wall connector and the mobile connector, you have that option of always having something in your car. If emergencies either happen, you can have that. Uh, I live in an urban setting, so I don't have to look far for any chargers. So in emergency settings, I don't really worry about that because I know there's a uh, charger somewhere nearby. So another benefit of the wall connector is it does have Wi-Fi capability. Uh, so you can get some firmware updates that way, as well as if you plan on eventually getting two Teslas, then it has load sharing. But uh, this video is for people who are just planning on getting their Teslas. So you can always get upgrade to Walk Nectar later on if you do get a second one. And of course, it does look a lot nicer. I'm not going to argue that one. So let's talk about the benefits of the mobile connector. Obviously, its biggest benefit is the variety of things that you can charge with. Uh, having the mobile connector for road trips is great as you have a variety of options for charging such as RV parks or if you're going to the cottage or staying at an Airbnb, you can even use the 110 outlet. So there's lots of options. You can actually buy a whole kit of different adapters uh, based on what you need or just buy the ones that, uh, that you need. So the kit obviously comes with the, this is the 515 NEMA, which is obviously the 110, just plug into a regular household outlet. The other big one, so right now the kit comes, you can have, you can pick both of these for the same price as just this one. 
Uh, so I'm not too sure if that's an error or what, because it's right now it's uh, sold out. So it's supposed to be start shipping around August 2022. But right now you have the option of picking both and the price doesn't change. So if that's still the case, make sure you buy both. Uh, so this is the 1450. It can charge at a, uh, this is a stove plug or most RV outlets have these. That's the benefit of having that mobile connector is you have a variety of these plugs to choose from, depending where you are, just pick the ones you get and you can charge at different places. Uh, the kit used to come also with this uh, J72 adapter. Uh, this is for all those uh, level two chargers that you see at, like stores, hotels, uh, stuff like that. You'll need this uh, adapter to be able to use those chargers. It used to come with the mobile connector kit, but uh, not anymore. So you have to buy this separately. So just a side note, make sure you get one of these. If you want my advice, I'd say if budget is an issue and you have to pick only one, I would get the mobile connector. It's a great home charging option and it does give you that freedom and worry-free driving on road trips, especially if you think you'll need to charge somewhere other than superchargers. So like camping, RVs, uh, or there's just no superchargers around where you plan on going. If you have a bigger budget, I'd probably get both to be honest. $200 doesn't really break the bank and it's a good option to have. Unless of course you don't go on any trips or where you plan on going has tons of superchargers around, then you might not need it. I know a lot of people who have the wall connector and have never used a mobile connector. So not everyone needs it. And now that it's sold separately, a lot of people who found themselves not needing it are now selling them. So you may find some used ones out there. So have a look there as well. And most important, whichever option you're going to go with, order it with the car as soon as you can. It's really simple. It's in the process now because it can take a while for delivery, especially the mobile connector. It's often out of stock. So order it as soon as you can. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment with any comments or questions you have and also subscribe. I have tons of content coming out, including some more how-to videos, some product reviews, as well as FSC beta videos. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. For the uh, wall connector. No, charge button, wall connector. If you want my advice, I'd say, so now eat order. Oh, we're still recording. All right, two hundred dollars doesn't really break the break the bank. The other advantage of the wall connector is it's hardwired. The other advantage of the wall connector is it's a hardwired. See here, if you look at uh, just scroll down the charging. Uh, all right, let's talk about the mobile. Uh, all right, let's talk about the benefits of the mobile connector.